currently, we are focused on Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, and Pete Davis. These are the top three trending stars in the industry right now. I bring you this information because it's what's trending. I give no personal opinions about anything that I bring to you. Just information that I've accumulated and I felt as if it would, might be something that you guys might be interested in. A few bullet points uh, and we'll go from there. By the way, my boy, my name is Bugatti NYC. You guys can share, like, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at B-O-O-G-O-T-T-I-N-Y-C. That's Bugatti NYC. We can start it off with Kanye. The guy that we know for production, making beats for Jay-Z, diplomats, himself. You also know him for a particular song, which is called Gold Digger. At a certain point of this song, there's a part of the verse where it breaks and says, and when he gets on, he'll leave you up for a white girl. Not that many people feel as if that's of any significance. It seems as if whatever's trending at the time is just what people pay attention to. You guys know the song Gold Digger. It's at the second verse, right before the break. Jamie Foxx is doing this thing because that's who's on the hook doing his rendition of Ray Charles uh, singing Gold Digger. I wanted to go into a couple of other areas, but I had to actually jot some of this stuff down just to make sure that I got it all together. At this point, you guys, you already know Kanye's already moved and Got these little hubs being made and he's got the Yeezy pop and he's doing his thing. You know, he's basically even been uh, validated as a billionaire. Kim K has already been validated as that too. Kind of makes them part of the 1%, which means a lot of people that can't financially really get with them, you know? Because there's not a lot of people that have that amount of money. Unless you're amongst the very small and that's the elite. But then when you uh, take it back a little bit and we look at the progression of what we have in Kim Kardashian, you know, we've got the uh, various boyfriends, you know, that I found on Google. It was a little more than I thought. You know, we've got... Uh, I know you guys remember Damon Thompson. That was her first husband. Damon Thompson. You guys can look that up. D-A-M-O-N Thompson. You got Chris Humphreys. Remember Chris Humphreys? That was another husband. And now you got Kanye West. Third husband. And I'm, to my understanding, they are divorced now. They got what's called, I guess, like a speedy divorce. It only takes about three months for that to go through. There wasn't any sort of uh, prenuptials or monetary or anything like that or properties. I'm sure they just did an amicable split with visitation. It doesn't seem like they have any problems with that. We haven't heard anything about it, so that's probably where it's at with that. Uh, there was a football player that played for the New Orleans Saints. If you guys could help me out with that one, 
I, I can't remember. I think his name is Reggie something. I can't exactly remember his name. But it's something Reggie. He was a really good football player, too. And the year that they were together, they actually won the Super Bowl. Then you've got, you know, Nick Cannon, who's been seen in pictures with her as well. You've got the game, who's been saying things about, you know, the girls and how he's been with them before. And, of course, you've got the catalyst that basically started all of this, Ray J. If I had one wish, you know, Brandy's brother, who basically did the porn video with her and they sold it to Vivid. And that's what basically really skyrocketed her from being, from what I'm understanding, Paris Hilton's closet person that was actually organizing uh, Paris Hilton's closet for a while. You know, I don't know if that's probably what Black China was doing for her, you know, um, when she met Rob and they got together, but that's a whole nother gambit of stuff. But as you can see, whoever winds up dealing with the Kardashians, they actually have this sort of a, let's just say, a short life, lifespan with the Kardashians, unless you're a Kardashian. You know, she's got four children by Kanye. That's uh, Northwest, Southwest, Saint, and there's another one. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of that one. Yeah, there's four of them. It's four children that she has now uh, by Kanye. Um, very small, a couple of them are toddlers. The oldest one might be about, you know, maybe 10 or like nine years old. But uh, totally aware and can visualize and see what's going on. In the press, you don't see that stuff because these people definitely have like nannies and people to watch the kids. So, you know, you're not going to see anything at home or anything like that with that going on. Only the good pictures and the photos, Christmas times and baking cookies and things of that nature, you know, which is good because you don't need to have anybody's kids all up in the tabloids with all of this mess that's going on that the parents are doing. Then you've got Pete Davis. Uh, they say he's been seen in uh, a club or the ra a restaurant where I guess uh, they he went in first and uh, sat down and she went in afterward and they had dinner in a D VIP area. Of course, TMZ and all of the tabloids are not going to just let this go un untalked about. So, of course, they had their people inside. They got the information saying that they were seen holding hands and, you know, talking back and forth. And they said that Kim was very entertained by uh, Mr. Davis. He's also a comedian. You probably know him from uh, Saturday Night Live and a slew of other things, movies and stuff of that nature. So, yeah, he's pretty well known. Do you see madness with this? Uh, it's just a question. Do you see, like, madness with this? Um, you know, I'm just asking, uh, what does anybody else think? Um, what do you think he sees in her? Do you think he sees an opportunity to actually possibly get married in the future? Um, do you think he's doing it from, you know, just to sort of get some, you know, stature in the game? Or just trying to, you know, hit it and quit it? Is there a possibility that he's just like, you know, he loves that ass? Because you know, she's got a great one. Sorry, yay, but you know, you guys are divorced. I know you were very protective when she, were your, she, she was your wife. And uh, I can understand that you're probably going crazy over this because, you know, of course, no man wants another man around their kids. And, you know, with the uh, press out here, you know, because Kim Kardashian is a very, you know, she's a superstar, you know, at this point. So you've got the view, you know, various people saying, oh, they look good together. Kim needs somebody to keep her entertained. He's pretty funny. And then you got people over at, uh, you know, TMZ that are actually, like I said, they're sending in their camera guys and they're actually doing some investigations and they're following up on this stuff. I mean, they're hot. It's, you know, when, it's, when it comes down to a Kardashian, everybody wants to talk about it. You know, you got... The situation going on with uh, in the past where you had Chloe with Lamar Odom, and then again when Chloe got married again and she got pregnant. Now she's divorced. 
Then you've got uh, Chris Jenner, I mean Chris, who's married to uh, Bruce Jenner, had a sex change. That's a big thing of controversy going on over there. And you've got what's that? Courtney, who was with uh, Travis Scott, and that's a lot of stuff going on now. And I think now she's with the drummers, one of the drummers from the rock band. Uh, is that Guns N' Roses? Uh, so I mean. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on over there. And that's why the press, various television networks, and everybody want to report it. But at the end of the day, if you're a person like Kanye West or anybody that's in the world of acting, music, comedy, or whatever, you know, you're going to have a lot of people following you around and wanting to know, what are you doing with this one? Are you with Courtney? Are you with that one? And it's uh, it's a pretty big deal because they're in the know right now. So is it bad to say like you know you know since she does have four children by Kanye is it bad to say hey Kim you know go home go back to your husband you know what's this guy gonna do for you think he's gonna take you serious is you know maybe he will you know I've seen uh, people do it in the past uh, you know with people like Russell Westbrook and Sierra. You know, she's got she's got a child, a future, and uh, they've been together going strong for a number of years now. So it's not to say it's not possible. So, you know, it's a possibility. You know, she's a beautiful, beautiful young woman, and she still has a, a, a chunk of her life ahead of her. And she's got a lot of money, so it's not like they can't have nannies and things like that if she wants to go around and travel and things and be with them. So I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think about Kanye? How do you think Kanye feels about it? Do you think he, you know, because like I said a, minute, a while ago, he was very, very protective of Kim. You know, anybody had said something about her, even if it was true, he would go on the tabloids immediately and say, hey, that's my wife, you know, and defend her the way a man's supposed to. You know, but what's weird is it seems as if with the press and all of the stuff that's going on, wasn't it just last week where they did SNL together and he helped her, like, you know, get her wardrobe together? They were seen eating and holding hands. And, you know, I guess, again, it's like whatever is hot at the time. That's what people want to report on, you know? You think women of today are kind of like our grandmothers or are they not? Do you think they're more into, like, you know, the bag or hustling and stuff like that? What do, what do you guys think? You know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, you know? Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you think that women are more, like, wholesome, that like to stay home, take care of the kids? Or do you think they just like to have parties and boyfriends and things of that nature? Or the, the other types that like to work, then there are other types that like to go to school? You know, so, you know, what do you guys think? What do you prefer? You know, could you see yourself with someone like a Kim Kardashian? I mean, she is a billionaire. <clears throat> You know, but nowadays it's all about fun. The Joneses showing off the bag, how to get it. You know, that's about it. Cryptocurrency and who's doing it and who's not. So again, it's what you like to do with your life. But what I would like to say is people do wonder why people have nervous breakdowns. You know, Kanye is... You know, he's already been diagnosed and he's been through a lot. He lost his mom and doesn't have too many people around him. So, and he's, you know, he's got the issues with the medication that he's been on. We've all seen the outbreaks and the outtakes and the stuff that he's done. Instead of doing a show, he's staying there and do a rant for like an hour. He, he even ran for president. And then, you know, another thing, he was all on the Trump bandwagon. He told us that he took Botox and all sorts of liposuction. So it's like, you can tell he's like a very emotional person. So what do you think he's going through at this point with something like that? What do you think? You know, I had a wife once and I lost her. I'll tell you the truth. I haven't been the same since. You know, sometimes you find yourself just wondering like, hey, where am I going? What am I doing? But you have to keep on going because this thing keeps on ticking. And you did live before her. Before she was in existence. And Kanye, think for your kids because you know you love them. And I, we all know you do. So, yeah. 
That's my take on Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, and Pete Davis. What do you guys think? Let me know. Leave your comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Like, share. See you next time we do this. It's your boy Bugatti NYC. And like I always tell you, you could have went anywhere. But the fact that you came here, I appreciate you. Get him! Aha!